part two of my series where I'm gonna break down everything you need to know about aerobic respiration for your A-levels. We had a look at part one and in part one we talked about glycolysis. Let me know in the comments where in the cell is glycolysis occurring. Next, we've got our link reaction. So the final product of glycolysis was pyruvate. And the pyruvate is then gonna go into our link reaction. But our pyruvate has now got to move its way into the mitochondria because the link reaction is taking place in the mitochondrial matrix. And so the pyruvate actually has to be actively transported into the mitochondrial matrix because we've got a high concentration of pyruvate inside that matrix. It's a smaller space, it's a smaller volume. There's just gonna be a high concentration of pyruvate. So it's got to be actively transported, which means that's gonna require energy from ATP. Now, it's a relatively small amount of energy relative to how much ATP is gonna be produced per molecule of pyruvate, so the net gain is gonna be fine. It's about 15 times more ATP is being produced per pyruvate than the ATP that's required to move the pyruvate into the mitochondrial matrix. And so the pyruvate is firstly going to be decarboxylated. Decarboxylation means removing a carbon dioxide molecule. And to decarboxylate the pyruvate, it's going to lose carbon. Pyruvate has three carbons, and so it forms acetate. The acetate has only two carbons because the carbon dioxide has been produced there. This is the first time we see carbon dioxide being produced in aerobic respiration. And then the acetate is going to be oxidized into our acetyl. Now the acetyl, as it is, as it is oxidized, we need an oxidizing agent that is gonna be our NAD, and that is gonna be converted, or it's going to accept the hydrogen and the electron to form NAD. H. And so the final thing here, to carry that acetyl group to the Krebs cycle, we also need to add in some CoA, some coenzyme A. So that's why we form our acetyl CoA there. Now remember, as the coenzyme A, it is not an enzyme, it is a coenzyme. Let me know in the comments, what's the difference between a coenzyme and a cofactor? And this acetyl-CoA is now going to go onto the Krebs cycle, and we're going to now start to produce loads more of these reduced coenzymes as well. Really important thing to remember that lots and lots of people forget, though, is that the whole link reaction is happening twice per glucose, because glucose produces two pyruvate, so all of this happens two times.